My dearest Lord, behold, I come to you in the sacrament in which thou hast given us the food for everlasting life. I implore your immeasurable mercy to heal my infirmity, wash my uncleanness, and enlighten my blindness, that I may receive you into my heart, the bread of angels, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, with reverence and humility, with such sorrow and devotion, with purity and faith. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins in order to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who renew the world through mysteries beyond all telling, grant, we pray, that your church may be guided by your eternal design and not be deprived of your help in this present age. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Now I create new heavens and a new earth, and the past will not be remembered and will come no more to men's minds. Be glad and rejoice forever and ever for what I am creating, because I now create Jerusalem, joy, and her people gladness. I shall rejoice over Jerusalem and exult in my people. No more will the sound of weeping or the sound of cries be heard in her, in her no more will be found the infant living a few days only, or the old man not living to the end of his days. To die at the age of a hundred will be dying young. Not to live to be a hundred will be the sign of a curse. They will build houses and inhabit them, plant vineyards and eat their fruit. The Word of the Lord. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. High praise, Lord, I give you, for you have helped me up and not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, you have brought my soul up from Sheol. Of all those who go down to the pit, you have revived me up. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Play music in the Lord's honor, you devout. Remember his holiness and praise him. His anger lasts a moment, his favor a lifetime. In the evening, a spell of tears in the morning, shouts of joy. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. Hear, Lord, take pity on me. Lord, help me. You have turned my mourning into dancing. Lord, my God, I will praise you forever. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. <clears throat> Jesus left Samaria and went to Galilee. He himself had declared that there was no respect for a prophet in his own country. But on his arrival, the Galileans received him well, having seen all that he had done at Jerusalem during the festival which they had too attended. He went again to Cana and Galilee, where he had changed the water into wine. Now there was a court official there whose son was ill at Capernaum. And hearing what Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went and asked him to come and cure his son as he was at the point of death. Jesus said, So you will not believe unless you see signs and portents. Sir, answered the official, Come down before my child dies. Go home, said Jesus. Your son will live. The man believed what Jesus had said and started on his way. And while he was still on the journey, his servants met him with the news that his boy was alive. He asked them when the boy had begun to recover. The fever left him yesterday. They said at the seventh hour. The father realized that this was exactly the time when Jesus had said, Your son will live. And he and all his household believed. This was the second sign given by Jesus on his return from Judea to Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, it's great to be with you. Although I cannot see you, I believe the Lord is bringing us together through this Holy Eucharist as He brings us together each day as we celebrate the Holy Eucharist. I pray the Lord may bless you in this time, especially as we struggle throughout the world with this threat of the coronavirus. We know the Lord is someone who is always with us and will never abandon us in anything, even if we feel that He has at times. It's not true. He never abandons us. He's present with us. He comes to us in times of darkness and distress and sorrow. But the Lord wants us to remind us in this time as well, as He says today, so you will not believe unless you see signs and portents. It's the same, similar thing as Jesus will say to St. Thomas. And then what he'll say to all of us is something that is, is a great blessing, is that blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Blessed are those who don't need the signs, don't need great portents, are able to trust the Lord based on his word, which is what the Lord is trying to tell us in this, is trust in Jesus because of his word, not only because he's done miracles and great signs which are beautiful and thankful that he does those as well. But blessed are those who will believe in his word upon hearing it. Blessed are those who will hear Jesus in the scriptures, hear the voice of the Father in the scriptures and believe. Believe without ever having seen. It's something similar to what we heard two Sundays ago as I'll just quote here from uh, the Samaritan woman as we hear Jesus say at the end, or we hear um, what, what the people, the converts in Samaria, said to the woman. It is no longer because of your words that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is indeed the Savior of the world. What is that saying but that they came to believe, not necessarily any new works, because of the work that Jesus had done, but because of what they heard him say, because they heard the voice of Jesus, the voice that calls out, and speaks into the depths of our souls. This is what Jesus asks of us. And the scriptures are the word that God has spoken once for all time, but each time and each, in each age in its own way. As this voice continues to speak to each individual, each person, each country, and the whole world. You know, the Lord is speaking now, and I think it's a time really to focus on the scriptures. I really believe it. A time to look at the word of Jesus. Look at the word of the Father that's been made flesh. What has he told me? What is he telling me now in these scriptures? Lent, as we're in Lent and we continue to hear these readings, I hear it over and over again. It's a time of repentance. It's a time that we must return to the Lord. And it's interesting that this happened. The coronavirus has come during the season of Lent. I don't think it's a coincidence. Is it a chastisement from God? Of course. <laughs> yeah, it is. What does he want for us but to return to him? Of course, when he brings chastisement, what's the purpose of that? But to bring us back to him. He doesn't desire the death of the sinner, but for the sinner to come back to him and to live. 
So what the Father asks of us, we may come back to Him, repent of our sins, repent at time of fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. What have I done wrong? How can I return to the Lord now? May I ask His forgiveness. May I trust in Him, in the word that He has spoken, the word that took flesh, the word that I wish so dearly you could receive physically now as I offer this, this Eucharist. I wish that you could receive physically. Of course, you can do a spiritual communion, not the same thing, but you can do the spiritual communion. And I pray that we may soon together be able to celebrate the Eucharist. May Almighty God bless you as we take, continue this time. Do not despair, but take faith in Jesus. I just now offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. We pray for <clears throat> our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for all of our bishops throughout the world, for priests, religious. They continue and grow in love for the Lord, especially in this time, as we repent of our own sins. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray also for all married couples in this time, those who are preparing to get married, those who uh, have been married for a long time, those who are isolated in their homes <clears throat> with their families in this challenging time. May the Lord give them the grace to be patient with each other and to know the Lord is asking us to focus in this time in Him and families. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. I pray for all those suffering from coronavirus, all those suffering from the effects of this virus and all sicknesses, that our Lord may give us healing, in our bodies, also our minds, and our souls. And we come to the Lord in trust and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray for all those who may die this day. May our Lord receive them into His heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Father in heaven, teach us to trust in You, in Your Word, who has been made flesh. But we trust in Jesus now and always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands we become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May we receive, O Lord, we pray, the effects of this offering dedicated to you, so that we may be cleansed from old earthly ways and be renewed by growth and heavenly life through Christ our Lord. <coughs> the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all ye have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts you have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And give you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. <clears throat> May the sacrifice of reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <clears throat> At the Savior's command and form a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. <laughs> A new stay, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I will place my spirit within you and make you walk according to my laws. 
and my judgments you shall keep and observe, says the Lord. Let us pray. May your holy gifts, O Lord, we pray, give us life by making us new, and by sanctifying us, lead us to things eternal, through Christ our Lord. May the Lord bless you all. It's been a great joy to be with you, even though I cannot see you. I think we are together in prayer truly. Sweet, do you want to come forward? Okay. Uh, thank you to Father Charlie for coming. <laughs> um, You'll be back here on Thursday? Yes, I will, yeah. Um, so thank you for, uh, for your patience. We had some technical issues. Um, God willing, we'll be doing this every day, 12 p.m. Central Time. Uh, I invite you to stick around. We have a pre-recorded rosary from one Hail Mary at a time. Um, and so we're praying the joyful mysteries of the rosary today. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Rob, so much. May God bless you all. Que Dios bendiga. Shem Shaboja. And the mighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Hi, my name is Kristen from One Hill Mary to Time, and we are going to be praying the joyful mysteries. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray for an increase in faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. And during this mystery, we pray for the courage to say yes to the will of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Second joyful mystery is the visitation. And during this mystery, we pray for our hearts to be full of joy and to be full of God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need of thy mercy. Third joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. And during this mystery, we pray for humility. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Fourth joyful mystery is the presentation in the temple. And during this mystery, we pray with gratitude for our faith. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Fifth joyful mystery is finding Jesus in the temple. And during this mystery, we pray for perseverance. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, heal our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor vanished children of thee. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn them, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.